are going to create this beautiful smoky look that I just love. So if you like the look, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to become part of the hashtag notification nation. Be alerted as soon as my videos go up. So now let's get into the look. Yay! Okay, so I thought we'd do a fun little like smoky eye today. And I'm going to be using the Profusion Naturals palette. And a Believe Beauty a Glimmer Pot. So yeah, as you can see, I already did my face makeup because I wanted to listen to music while I did it. And so yeah, I did that first. So hopefully I don't screw it up by getting shadow all over it. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the color. This nice little skin color, Heavenly. We're gonna start with that as our transition shade. It's Friday, y'all. Well, for you, it's Saturday, y'all. Yeah. So, do you have any weekend plans? Anything fun this weekend? I have no plans. Maybe I'll play with makeup this weekend and see what kind of looks I can do. Sounds fun to me. Yep. Okay, so next I'm going to go into the lid color. I'm going to switch to a flatter. This is an eyeshadow brush by BH Cosmetics. Doesn't have a name or number. I've had it for a long time. All right, I'm gonna go into the color Amore. Right there. And I'm gonna pack that onto the lid. I am going to because dust that off, tap that off because I do not want to get shadow all over my beautifully done makeup. So what did you guys think about my last video? Any any comments at all? Anybody? <laughs> yes! Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna go in with. We're gonna go in with this color Thoughtful. Right there. And we are going to use that to blend the edges of the burgundy color to kind of blend it out smoky out smoky out we got a smoky out guys smoky out right, let's grab a Ulta Beauty crease brush and go into that Amore that burgundy color and just kind of put that in through the crease I'm gonna keep that color nice and smoked out I'm gonna go in with that blend, that uh, <laughs> transition <laughs> brush with no more product, just what's on it. And I'm going to blend out the edges with that. I am actually going to take a little bit of Heavenly, that transition color, just to help with the blending a little. best to pick a transition color that is closest to your skin color so if you need it to blend out edges it looks like it's blending right into your skin color you know what I'm saying you know what I mean jelly bean so weird I'm gonna take a clean brush now make sure it's clean love it and just do a little more blending 
really want this to be well blended. Okay, now I'm going to take that. I am sweating. Why did I wear long sleeves? That was going to be not as warm. Okay, I'm going to take this Believe Beauty Glimmer Pot in the color Pink Quartz, which I used in my last video. I thought it was so pretty that I needed it to be a part of this. <laughs> Look, I'm going to go in with my finger. It's such a weird consistency. And I am just going to pat that right in the center. Just a little bit to give it a little bit of light there. Okay, now we're going to go in with, after I find the top to this, <laughs> we're going to go back in after I clean my finger off. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back in with the crease brush that we used with the Amore color that we used to kind of bring that Amore up and we are going to use that to feather it into that lightly just to blend that in with our look. Ooh, it brings just a hint of light to the center so it doesn't look so like dark you know what I'm saying look at that though I mean come on guys is that not beautiful we're actually going to continue down onto the bottom lash line with the same brush Ooh, that is dark, y'all. We are going to take the transition G, y'all. And we are going to soften that a little bit. I actually want to try something. I want to try to grab a flat shadow brush and I want to go into that glimmer pot and I just want to see if it applies well with a brush. I feel like I did this last time and I don't remember. I feel like I need this mirror. Can't really tell in that mirror. Just tap it on with that brush. Oh it does. Awesome. I love this. I love this. I think I'm going to put some of that in the inner corner. Just because of that gold in it, it just... Yeah, I like it. Liner. Alright, for the top we're using e.l.f. Liquid liner. Nothing too crazy. Next eye. Maybe that's a little much. Down to go to Daisy. There's the top liner. Now I'm going to do the bottom liner. For the bottom liner, I am going to be using the Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in Caviar. I absolutely love this for the waterline. It just works so well. I can't express how much I like this. I just love this liner, guys. It's just amazing. It glides on so easily, and it's just so pigmented, and it stays. They did an excellent job on this liner. Gotta get more colors. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on mascara lashes and I'll be back and then we can do a lip a lip color okay so added my lashes I um, I used the believe beauty volumize vo, vo, volumen volumen <sighs> voluminize mascara for top and bottom I popped uh, some of my Wet n Wild I'm So Lit highlight in the brow bone and I added some to the inner corner just because I wasn't, it wasn't as 
bright as I wanted it to be. And now I'm thinking, I'm thinking this Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick by Believe Beauty is going to be the winner for my lips today. And I might throw on a little of this gloss as well. First, I gotta find a lip liner that matches ish, kind of. Okay, I'm gonna use this Maybelline New York Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Pink Wink, because it's what I used last time and it seemed to work pretty good. Okay, so there's my lip line. Mm -hmm. Now let's pop this on. This is in the color Honey Blush. It's so pretty. I love the color of this. It stays really well as well. Unless, like when you put gloss on top of a like matte lipstick, obviously the, the gloss is gonna make it so it doesn't stay as long. So I always pop the gloss in the middle. I don't do the whole thing, but the middle wore away a little faster than it would have if I didn't put gloss on it. But I like the gloss. Uh -huh, I see I first. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to use my finger to pop on the gloss because I don't want to get this wand all yucky. Oh god, I always get scared. All right. Yeah, so that is this look. I hope you like it. I really, really, really do. I actually love this look. Um, yeah, and it really wasn't difficult. You saw just a few colors, a lot of blending. Boom, you done. So, yep, if you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to become part of the hashtag notification nation and be alerted as soon as my videos go up so now i got on my teeth which is great um oh, so annoying okay so yes this was a fun video to make next week we will be on Tuesday, Thursday, switching stuff up, want to experiment, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the last video I posted, uh, uh, changes to come, and you will, you will see what I'm talking about. So, yes, I guess I will see you on Tuesday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.